Hello, everybody. This is Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements. We have a short movie we've made, about 3 minutes and 44 seconds, not very long. But a short movie we've made, and I'd like to add some music to the audio track. Now, there are some great selections of music built right into the program. If I go over here to the musical note on the toolbar on the right-hand side of the program, I can click on that. I'll see that there are actually a couple categories of music in addition to a nice collection of sound effects. If I go under audio tracks, there are some nice production tracks that the program provides free. These aren't quite the same as scores, which I want to talk about in a moment, but if you just need some production music, some very nice production music in a variety of categories are available there under music. If you go under the scores, and I'm going to select show all, scores have a unique property in that not only are they a nice variety of production music, they're all royalty free, you can use them in any program or any project you're working on, including a work for hire. But in addition, scores are kind of self-generating. In other words, once the music track is generated, it's going to have a natural beginning, middle, and end, no matter what length you trim it to on your timeline. And I'll show you what I mean by that. But you can see that in a variety of categories, from ambient to atmospheric categories like blues, country, rock, pop, and even urban. And of course, there's some wedding music down here too. You'll notice a number of these have a little blue flag over them. Don't let that panic you. A little blue flag just means it hasn't been downloaded yet to your computer. But the very first time you use them, the program will automatically download them and install them onto your computer and into the program and you'll never have to download them again. That's why you can see some of these that I've used in the past or that I've used before do not have a blue flag over them. Now I've got a video here of people showing off their new home in uh, South Carolina and I thought maybe I might want to use a country sound for that. I can sample any one of these music clips just by hovering over them and clicking on the play button. <laughs> too folksy for me and some of these are a little bit too upbeat and some like the blues are just a little bit too uh well, they're a little bit too slow for me but i did find a song called rainy daydream it's in the blues that i think is a perfect match for this video i'm going to drag it down to the music track from the scores panel once I've added it to the timeline, you notice that I get a properties panel that automatically opens up. There's an intensity level, which I have never really found makes much difference in the music, but uh, we'll bring it down to about media. More importantly, it has a fit entire movie option here. And if I select that and click done, the scores track is lengthened to the same length as my movie. I'm going to close the panel by clicking on the uh, toolbar here on the right. Now you can see that my scores are now the same length as my movie. In case you're not seeing your scores, you can toggle them open or closed here by clicking on the timeline headers here to the left. You notice the scores, instead of showing uh, a regular waveform for the audio, show a little kind of cupy curl pattern. That's because they're not permanent. So if I play the beginning of this particular song, we'll go back to the beginning of the timeline and play that. If I play the end though, listen how naturally it ends at the same length as the movie. So I'm just going to play the last couple seconds of it. Now I kind of cheated a little bit, it gave us a fade out, but let's go ahead and move the playhead to right about the middle of our movie. I'm going to shorten the length of this just by trimming it, all right? I'm going to trim the length of Rainy Daydream to much shorter. And I want you to listen to the end, and you'll hear, again, a very natural end to it.
so you can see it gave it a natural beginning middle and end and that's the beauty of scores if you just need a little five second music clip or if you need a two minute music clip no matter how long or short you trim scores it's going to automatically generate and have a natural beginning middle and end in that particular song you won't see that with some of the other production music in the program but scores does that just beautifully and it's well worth checking out a kind of a neat tool that's hidden away here in premiere elements in its music category now if you want to know more about these kind of hidden tools or just how to use all the tools in the program check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com if you want to know everything about premiere elements you'll want to check out the moviepix.com guide to adobe premiere elements it's available at amazon.com and i'm steve i wrote the book i hope to see you again real soon take care